guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie if you have not been here before and thank you so much for watching this video. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing a new makeup look of mine that I've been doing for the past like month or so. I've been using some new products that I've really, really been loving. And you guys do ask me every once in a while what I'm using on my face. So I figured before I put my makeup on today, I would just turn on the camera so you guys could check out all the new products I'm using. So I hope you guys really do enjoy this video. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you guys would like to see from me. It's like a constant struggle figuring out what to film for you guys. Obviously, I love filming hauls, but I want to do some different content as well. So let me know what you guys would like to see from me. I would really appreciate that. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure you subscribe if you want to, that would be nice. And hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. I will be sure to leave my Instagram down below as well as my Poshmark. P.S. I've been uploading lots of stuff in the last few weeks, so check that out if it's been a little while. Alpha details, product details, camera details, all that fun stuff is always down in the description box. So yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so I just put on my toner. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. Love that stuff. And then I'm going to be using my Tatcha Violet C Brightening Serum on my face. And then I'm also using my Clur Symmetry Fluid Anti-Pollution Serum. I swear my skincare steps take longer than my actual makeup steps. <laughs> Also, I never notice how like rough I am putting on skincare until I watch myself back on videos. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> Literally beating my face. So I'm not going outside anymore today. So I'm gonna skip the SPF. Nobody judge me. And then I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Love using this stuff before I put makeup on. My makeup goes on so much smoother when I use this. This little pimple below my nose has got to go. It's super painful right now. So tonight I will be taking care of you. Hopefully you'll be gone by tomorrow. <laughs> All right, and my must, must, must before makeup is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. My pores do not look cute unless I use this stuff. Not that pores are ever cute, but you know what I mean. My pores are like huge if I don't use this. That pimple is so ugly not okay it's like <laughs> i don't know what happened it was just red this morning and now it's a full-on whitehead so gross i shouldn't say that you guys let's normalize having pimples i don't like them but it's okay if you have pimples i get them a lot <laughs> all right so i wanted to use a new product to my channel anyway i've been using this product for about a month or so and i really really like it it is the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Foundation. I love this stuff. It's really good for like everyday type of makeup. Um, it's definitely not full coverage or anything. So it's something that you're not going to want to wear for like an all day epic full coverage <laughs> kind of face situation. But it's really, really good for everyday. I think it's super pretty. Um, I'm mixing the shades 5.25 and 5. I always put way too much on the back of my hand. Like, what am I doing? Like, I did not need that much. I already know this is gonna be way too light on me, so I'm gonna mix in 5.5 as well. Literally have three foundations on the back of my hand. I just self-tanned last night, so normally I can mix those first two shades and be totally good, but I don't think it's gonna cut it for today. All right, let's try this. So I like using the little cushion from this Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation, which is normally my go-to foundation, but I've really been loving this one lately. I just like this little puff thing that comes with it because I feel like it spreads the foundation so nicely and doesn't like soak up a bunch of product like a beauty blender would, especially with a foundation like this because it is a bit more of a lighter coverage so what have you guys been up to this summer the summer has been really <laughs> i mean this whole year has just been 
very strange to put it lightly but this summer has been kind of sad because normally brian and i are traveling so much and we're hanging out with my family and stuff and it's just been a very weird year to put it lightly and i know things could be a lot worse but it's just strange I feel like I talk about this year too much, but seriously, don't you guys feel like every time you get together with people, all you talk about is how weird 2020 has been and coronavirus, which PS, <laughs> I fully thought I had coronavirus the other day. So much so that I went and got tested and came back negative, thank goodness, but I was so panicked. It was really strange. I woke up with um, the worst headache I've ever had in my life. And then I had a fever the entire day and the entire next day, literally two days straight of just having a fever. So finally I was like, I'm gonna go get tested tomorrow. Like I just wanna know so I can prepare and tell people that I've been around like, hey, guess what? I've got COVID. So I went and got tested at an urgent care by our house. It was not a big deal, by the way. Um, I don't know if it's everywhere, but the urgent care I went to, they said that they're not administering like the crazy painful tests anymore where they like jam a Q-tip or whatever it is, like all the way up your nose. It was just like an easy little swab situation in my nose. It was not a big deal at all. Um, but I got my test results two days ago and it came back negative, so. I have no idea what happened. No clue what I was sick with. I have been fine since then. Like the day I actually went and got tested, I had no fever and I've been fine since. I've had like weird headaches here and there, but no other symptoms. So I don't know you guys. I think my anxiety is definitely a little bit heightened at the moment. Um, let me know if you can relate. Because I just think this is not the first time I've thought I had coronavirus. I think it like at least once a week. I'm such a hypochondriac at this time of my life. <laughs> All right, so now I'm using my Becca under eye brightening corrector. I woke up this morning and this entire side of my under eye area was so puffy. I'm like why just one side? Anyways, tell me what you guys have been up to this summer. How have you been filling your days? My days have been pretty regularly just work. <laughs> I'm dying to go on a vacation. Like I just want to go somewhere other than Arizona. I haven't been to another state, I think since January. That's not normal for me. My husband and I love to travel. So it's been a very strange year, not traveling at all. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going through a little bit of withdrawals. I'm using the Benefit Boeing Cakeless Concealer now. I use shade four on my inner corners and then shade five a little bit out here. Just like the way the two colors mix together. I think I'm like some cute little chemist or something when I'm doing my makeup. I just mix everything together. I was on a reading kick for a really long time there. I was reading well, not just strictly like actually reading, but listening to audiobooks. Um, I would finish one in like less than three days, probably for like two months straight. That's all I was listening to. I'm normally somebody that loves listening to podcasts. And the only thing I was doing was like listening to books and I loved it. I read so many great books. I always feel so weird saying read. I didn't technically read them, um, but I listened to them. How do you say that? Is that normal do you say read or do you say listened <laughs> i don't know but i was on such a huge kick with that also i'm like just always into reality tv shows do you guys watch reality tv if you do tell me what your favorite reality show is i love almost anything bravo does there's some shows that i don't particularly enjoy or get into but i watch every single housewives franchise um, I love Below Deck, all of the franchises. 
I watch Vanderpump Rules. What else is there? Oh, I just finished Selling Sunset. Literally watched that show so fast. Um, now I'm using Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Dusk. My friend here on YouTube and Instagram, you guys should actually go check her out. Her name is Shaughnessy. I will link her channel below. She is amazing. Like just the dopest style ever and such a sweetheart. She posts here on YouTube a lot. I'm like, how do you do it, girl? She's really on top of it. Um, anyway, she told me that I should watch Selling Sunset and I started watching it and I immediately fell in love. I was watching the first episode and within like 30 seconds of watching it, I was like, why is this The Hills meets real estate? Like what is going on here? And so I watched the whole episode, I loved it. And then sure enough, the first name I see in the credits is Adam DeBello. And I was like, it all makes sense. But I watched the entire three seasons. I know like each season only has like eight episodes, but I watched them like within a week. I was obsessed and Brian actually <laughs> started getting into it too. He loves seeing like crazy houses. So he was like, you can't watch this without me. Um, but I just fell in love with the show. I thought it was so good. Obviously it's so well done and the drama is very interesting. I was actually really curious to know. So I'm not somebody who watches This Is Us regularly at all, like at all. I think I've tried watching like the first maybe two or three episodes. I don't even know if I got that far. And I just realized it was not the show for me. I, nothing against people that watch it obviously, but I'm not really into shows that like, <laughs> you're crying the whole way through. Like I hate to cry. Um, it doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Basically, like the dog has to die in the movie or the show and then I'll cry. But I'm just not somebody who enjoys those types of shows. I knew about Justin Hartley because I knew he was on that show. But I was just curious for people who are fans of Selling Sunset and This Is Us. Like, how do you feel about what went down? Like, that was a lot. Like, he was not very nice for what he did to Chriselle. Also, Davina and Christina, Christine? Davina and Christine. That's her name, right? They were kind of awful too to Chriselle or like talking about her. I talk like I know them or something. That's how I always get with reality TV. I like call people by their first names. Like my friend Carrie and I used to talk about Kardashians, like the most recent episode. And we'd call like Courtney, just like Courtney. We would never say like Courtney Kardashian. It'd just be like Kim and Courtney and Chloe. Like we never <laughs> would call them by their last names. Like just talk like we were best friends with them or something. And people would come in and be like, oh, who are you talking about? <laughs> Keeping up with the Kardashians. We have no lives. Anyway, I thought the show was so good. Incredibly entertaining. And uh, obviously most of the houses were dope. Some of those houses though, hideous. Like, listen, I don't understand why so many rich people have such bad taste. Like, I'm sorry if that's a little bit harsh, but there's so many houses on there. I'm like, corny. I almost feel like some people who are super rich like just think that they need to ball out and get the most expensive thing in the world um, for their house or whether it's to wear or something. They just don't really think about taste. They just think like what's the most outrageous thing I can buy just to like flaunt my money. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Like just some of those houses, like the decor is so ugly. And I guess I shouldn't judge. I'm sure there's some people that think my taste is really stupid too. So that's fine if you think that. <laughs> I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. Brian and I haven't watched a movie in a very long time. Do you guys have any suggestions? Oh, we finally watched, what's it called? I always want to say The Righteous Gemstones, but that's not it. That show is super funny though, if you guys 
need a laugh. What is it called? Uncut Gems. I can never think of the name of it. We finally watched that movie probably like a month ago. It stressed me out. I don't know what it is, but like movies about gambling or movies where people owe other people money, those movies give me so much anxiety. Like, cause I just always feel like you know what's gonna happen. You know, like someone's gonna get beat up. I don't know, sometimes when I'm watching things or reading something, I like so invest myself in what's happening that I kind of like put myself in their shoes and I hate the feeling of like, not that I've ever owed anybody like a huge sum of money, but even like when you owe somebody like 20 bucks, it's not a big deal, but like you borrow like 20 bucks for like a day or something. I'm just like always in the back of my head, like, oh my gosh, I have to pay them back. I have to pay them back. Like it just stresses me out like owing people things. So I can't imagine being like, like tens of thousands of dollars in debt to some like scary person. Like, okay, I'm gonna have to do my eyebrows off camera cause I have to get really up and close. I don't know if I can do this here. Yeah, I don't trust myself. Um, but I'm gonna be using the Glossier Brow Flick in the shade. I think it's just brown. Yeah, brown. And then I'm going to use my e.l.f. Wow Brow. Which one do I want to use today? I'll use a neutral brown today. Literally, I'm just like doing little hair-like strokes and my brows, nothing too crazy. <laughs> All right, looking much better. I hate when I don't have my eyebrows filled in. I just feel like it looks so weird. Okay, so I'm using my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist now to set my face. I like to put on my Bite Beauty Agave Balm. Stuff is so nice for hydrating my lips before I put anything on. Next, I'm going to use my NYX Professional Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Natural, I think. Yeah, Natural. All right, and something I've been loving using lately is this Armani Beauty Ecstasy Balm. This is in the shade number two. I can't remember what the actual shade name is called but it's so pretty mm, it's so pretty i just like love the glossy color it gives sorry i keep using like all armani products but they sent me a bunch of stuff and i've been in love with it so this product too is the armani beauty eye tint this is the shade 44 it's so pretty i don't normally wear eyeshadow you guys probably notice i don't know ever since i started getting eyelash extensions i just don't tend to wear it. I don't know why. I think it's mainly because like eyeshadow gets all over my eyelash extensions and it's kind of a pain to like clean them that way. So I normally stray away from eyeshadow, but I love this stuff because it's liquid and it's just super easy to blend out. Something else I've been really into in the last few months is these like fake nails. I've been putting them on like crazy. I use the ones from Kiss. I think I think these are Kiss too. Um, but they're so easy to put on and they actually last like two weeks. I'll usually have some that pop off. But they're really easy to glue back on. And I just think they look so nice. When you used to put fake nails on, they looked so fake. And I don't know, maybe to you guys these look fake. But I think they look pretty real. Not real. But you guys know what I mean. Like I got them done at a nail salon. And then last but not least, I'm going to put a little mascara on. This is the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara. All right, so that is it. I'm going to finish up my hair and then I'll come right back. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I'm super happy with it. Obviously, it looks very, very natural. I don't feel like it looks like, wow, she's wearing a ton of makeup, if you guys know what I mean. And that Giorgio Armani foundation just looks so natural on the skin. Leaves my skin still looking very skin-like, not like I've caked a ton of makeup on. So I really do enjoy that. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate that. And again, please leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys would like to see from me. I'm running out of ideas. I need help. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.